today we are going to read my son Johan's book called The Penguins, The Bedouin Penguins, written by Asma al Katfi and illustrated by Maitha al Hayat. In Ski Dubai lives a family of four little penguins. Ice covers every corner of their home. Sometimes the penguins have guests. They take pictures with them and give them little penguin hugs. The penguins really love hugging. One day, a family of Bedouins visited from Liwa. They wore traditional Emirati clothes, which the penguins were impressed with. The penguins gave them some dates that tasted really divine. Dates grow on palm trees, said the Bedouins, and in Liwa, we have lots of dates. Stepping outside for the first time, the penguins were surprised to see the life in Dubai. They saw tall buildings that reached the sky, lots of people and cars. They also fell in love with Dubai's fast metro. It was very sunny. So they put on sunblock, drank plenty of ice cold water and began their journey. After a while, the penguins tiny feet began to sink into the sand. Oh, it's a desert, said Fluffy. The sand is so soft, said Sugar. Eventually, the penguins got rid. The sun was very hot and they had little water left. Sand, sand everywhere, cried Sugar. She collapsed on the sand because she was so thirsty, hot and hungry. Suddenly, a group of camels passed by and offered help to the struggling penguins. The camels used to cross big distances in the dry, hot desert with little food and water. They carry, they carry their food supply of food in a form of fat stored in their humps. The penguins enjoy the journey and they drank lots of delicious camel milk. At night, the air blew cool and the sky came alive with the bright sprinkling stars. The penguins and camels made themselves cozy on the soft desert sand and enjoyed the best view in the whole world. Next day, the penguins waved goodbye to their friends and continued towards Liwa. Soon enough, they were walking in circles. Father Penguin checked his compass, but he was so exhausted that he couldn't know the direction. Just when they were going to lose hope, they heard a sound. The penguins waved and jumped with joy. Inside the car was a family from Abu Dhabi who were going camping. Father Penguin explained that they were heading to Liwa, but they are lost and in need of water. Their new friends offer them cold water and a seat and their eyes feel coolers. Finally, they reached the camping area and cooked delicious meals. Sugar and Fluffy rode a quad bike that rolled up and down the sand dunes screaming like it were a big roller coaster ride. The penguins now were full-bellied and felt good after their ice bath. Then their new friends dropped them near Liwa and waved goodbye. After waddling a few miles, the penguins saw greenery in the distance and oasis. They also saw, they also saw guff and palm trees. As they got closer, they saw people waving and welcoming them. The family who had visited the penguins in Skitubai rushed to greet them. They gave them buckets of ice and huge baskets of delicious dates. They also gave them traditional Emirati clothes. The soft cotton was light, comfy and protected the penguins' skin from the, sky, from the sun. 
The penguins rested after they had lunch, and they enjoyed the rich Arabic coffee along with the delicious dates. My pink spotted dress is lovely, Sugar exclaimed with joy. Everyone shared the joy and the happiness of the traditional dance and beautiful culture. Despite the penguins' exciting adventure, they missed their cozy home, and their tiny feet were tired from the long journey. So the Bedouins offered to take them back in a car. When they arrived, the penguins huddled together in bed. I am happy because we saw and learned a lot of new things during this trip, Father Penguin said. They slept with a big smile, thinking of the world outside and all they had seen. Then Fluffy asked, so where to next?